one of the biggest uh, crimes against me from Croatian state against uh, uh, Croatia was the one that really 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 knew how to curse me uh, they really made deadliest curses and this curse this Kroatha curse uh, you call this uh, Ustasha or you want to call this a Chetnik uh, Croats don't even know who the fuck they are uh, that's why I said the Kolpa River in nothing further than that. Believe that consequently I myself will know who the fuck I am. Together with the Slovenian and Serbian Chetniks, supporters of Vladimir Putin, Kroatas headed literally with this crime here. To the court to the European court uh, extending extermination and genocide procedure through the case of what appears to be like an innocent um, even I would say with good intention um, case a case of offered employment in a Croatian military uh, to somebody who was just who just uh, uh, unfortunately have suffered a cardiovascular problem during a routine testing for a Croatian military service uh, Croatas like I said, either Ustashas or Chetniks with their Slovenian Chetniks in this crime, psychiatrist Peter Kovš, as well as Novo Mesto, murderers, assassins employed at a police station were involved in it. They would repeatedly drive me to Croatia to, um, to put as many curses on me as possible to make uh, to make extermination procedure a genocide as smooth as possible. Milan Kočan did not come down when Slovenian state became independent from the so-called Yugoslavia, but became obsessed with the idea to get me killed uh, for whatever cost, not only with the permission of the Croats, Bosnians, um, Kosovo people, Macedonian people, uh, but he literally started to enforce extermination, genocide procedure uh, through the Croatia. Uh, literally, Kuchan used Croatia to penetrate with this case into Washington, D.C., uh, where, from where I would have Americans coming to this home, to this house, insisting me that I made a mistake that I made a mistake, that I'm wrong, that I'm dead wrong, and so on, for uh, pushing forward ideology on how it's nothing wrong with testing candidates in a harsh conditions before those can be offered um, uh, employment, military employment. Something that I have to say I don't regret even a little bit. Uh, I'm going to post a video uh, about myself literally on a garden right outside uh, at age, I think I was 50, uh, maybe even 51, 50 in 2022. Uh, just or 2021, I'm not sure. I was 50 years old. I know that. Uh, and, you know, simply I, I just uh, would go at once and do 50 push-ups and 50 pull-ups without taking any kind of breaks. Break 50 pull-ups, 50 push-ups, uh, literally with the heart problems, literally with the cancer, literally with the problem walking, literally with a broken spine. 50 pull-ups, 50 push-ups, just to award 
failure of Arnold Schwarzenegger, who also hated me to death because of his cardiovascular problems he suffered from uh, at age, I think, I don't know, 50 or whatever it was. Let's see this stuff here. age 50 yeah he promised me i'm gonna fail neighbor miroslav berger promised me i'm gonna fail uh if the man was just lazy like a fuck it didn't matter uh, you're gonna fail 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 at everything in life you're gonna fail well that's why I did it. I did the 50 pull-ups and 50 push-ups without taking break. Now, just to award my status on this planet, just to give a naysayers like Arnold Schwarzenegger says, a message about who they destroyed, about whom they have gone after, about whom they have wanted to destroy without one leaving even a trace of his existence to this planet. Scum that believed I'm going to see myself in a shadow of the cowards, billionaires, trillionaires, so-called entrepreneurs, bodybuilders, Hollywood actors, political pundits like uh, Barack Obama or Vladimir Putin. No such thing ever happened. In this case here, we even went ahead to give me a lesson about uh, the name Jujitsa. Uh, Jujitsa is good. Jujitsa is good. Jujitsa is not bad. Jujitsa. The mother Jujitsa of Pushelic has a Serbian heritage in it. And there is nothing she can do about it. With a Serbian heritage, she never liked me. Her husband, Josip, is a Croat. I remember him from Domovinsky Rat, from the war for Croatia. But a scumbag, married Serb, and went ahead and pushed curse against me through the Washington DC, through the Brussels, through the Strasbourg, at the Zagreb, he didn't have to do anything about it. I told him not to marry her. I told him not to marry Serb. This guy was involved in MK Ultra way before he he brought a child to this world. He just did it, and he did it, and you know. I'm not even saying anything. That's his problem. That's her problem. That's not my problem. But it became my problem once I became guilty for it. Vladimir Putin, Milan Kuchan used this Hrvatski branitelj uh, but uh, this Djurjica name is all over the Croatia. It's a very, very, very Croatian name. Djurjica. Very, very, very Croatian name. It is, in my opinion, just as Croatian as Djurjevdan. George's Day. Djurjevdan. Djurjevdan. Forget about England, Ethiopia, Albania. Uh, this is the main Serbian Hollywood uh, holiday. Djurjevdan. This here, this is this is the numero uno. This thing here. This is a this is a holiday. This is a uh, this is an Orthodox. This is a well, 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 well. She's a shit day. Day of all days in Serbia this here what you see 
Yeah, this 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 isn't this isn't my problem either. I don't give a fuck what they have in Serbia, what they celebrate. What kind of victory the Shizos in Serbia saw themselves in? They saw me, I don't know, as a dragon or whatever. Uh, and the Giorgio was the one. Uh, they create a real psychotic out of this Domovinsky Ratnik za Hrvatsku, koji se borio za Hrvatsku. And I, I understand he really did. I understand he really did. But you know what I became guilty of? I became guilty of being hijacked by the Slovenian police. For the purposes of extermination procedure, genocide transported to Croatia and delivered to the young Croatian recruits before they would report themselves to the Croatian military. And I understand it was successful because <laughs> I don't understand really why, why they would do this, because of what I'm about, obviously, not the first time I'm going to give you an account about the Croatian state. What the fuck this is all about. But uh, young people were appeared to me at least to be excited. You know, and I say appear. And I go and I use that crazy word, voice. You know, appear. They appeared. They appeared. Like a MK Ultra, like a good old MK Ultra nut. I'm using that kind of voice right now. What the fuck I had to do with the Croatian state? What the fuck I had to do with this stuff? When in reality, Croatian state didn't do other than doing its best to get me killed. And it doesn't matter for good or bad or worse. What matters is that they wanted to kill me. And what matters is that I was always a traditional supporter of Croatian independence. Sovereignty. What matters is the Croatian state is packed with the traitors. With a Serbian Belgrade shit, scum, filth. That we alone in Slovenia consequently have to deal with it. They are packed with the Milan Kujans. This is a fucking boat that is overloaded with the scum. For one thing. And the second thing is, the good Croats know about it. And are using such a scum to hide between other issues because they get financed. They get paid from St. George, which is located in London, in Britain, in Britannia. This goes straight into the fucking London. It goes straight into the Buckingham Palace. It goes straight to the British Royals, where the scum wanted me dead at all the costs possible. So this is how the Penny pincher Croats, like Croatas, the Patriots, do their job even today. Even today they do the same kind of job. They're, I'm not going to go into it. Like I said, for me, Kolpa River is the border. And I don't want to go anywhere further than that. As a matter of fact, even in Slovenia, we have a big problems here, as you see. We have a Serbian pro-Serbian, pro-Chetnik scum here. We have a field here inside of the Slovenian parliament sitting as a president, sitting as a Slovenian prime minister. We have a scum, Chetnik scum in Slovenia on all the prominent positions literally running psychiatric democracy as Croats refer to as a psycho-Stalinism except that they alone are psycho-Stalinism. And it doesn't even matter whether they kill in the psycho-Stalinism name or they kill for their British uh, patrons over there from London. It really doesn't matter. I don't think that killing good people uh, is a good thing, is it? Or is it? Yes, it is. If you make good money with it, if you gain political prominence, Schizophrenia is the business. This is the business of the centuries, the way to go. It is indifferent from the methods Joseph Stalin used, but it doesn't really matter, is it? Does it? I don't have much I would say in respect to this video. I think I was clear about it. You can watch the video and you can understand that the fucking guy was one of those people that did the report it to me and he go... Uh, that I met before he went and tried to do this test 
to enlist himself in a Croatian military, uh, which was rated as a completely inhumane. Uh, it was rated as, uh, as uh, I don't know, as uh, American side girls were also crying to me. This is just not the right way. This is not the way it is. This you don't do this. This you don't whatever. And you know what I mean? Listen, uh, this people, this people. No fucking respect for human life. I can tell you this out of my own experience because I'm talking about me being hijacked, drugged up, tortured, subjected to the most severe Guantanamo like worse than Guantanamo like torture with about two hours a day sleep, maybe four hours a day sleep during MK Ultra was a luxury. I went days without the sleep during MK Ultra. They targeted cardiovascular hell they wanted to get me killed at all the costs and this was a lucky ticket from the prince charles from the prince william who made who named his son as george a lucky ticket for the chetniks from the belgrade a lucky ticket for robert golop from slovenia slovenian prime minister robert golop lucky ticket from natasha pierce musar lucky ticket from the for the junkies, drug addicts, those who remind more of the Dawson disease type of leaders. I'm not going to say wannabes, but chosen to pose as a victim during extermination procedure, which my case became, I'm not going to say in the later stages, but more and more and more as I grew up from age one, and I was used as a test rat. They did test it on me, all kinds of stuff. And all the way past 18, we had solely one purpose, and that's grooming me for extermination procedure through the schizophrenia. Failure of physical, spine injury, not heart, cardiovascular, and cancerous alike problems. They did not hesitate to present themselves to the world as my victims. And indifferent is this, uh, this case from this scum that you see here, where Slovenian police would guide me, take me, and with assistance of the Croatian state, delayed even a justice through the that much about involvement of the Brussels, that much involvement of von der Leyen, Strasbourg crime against me. In agreement with this family, with the Croatian state, they deliberately delayed the justice, uh, promoted Serbian swinery in the Croatia by even literally using this. This was the most hateful individual. He claimed he's not a Serb. But the way he acted is with more zest to cause harm to Croatia than Draža Mihailović would. And that was a leader of the Chetnik movement. With more zest, with more vehemence than Alexander Vucic or Vojslav Šešel or Ratko Mladic or Karadžić or Milosevic for that matter would do. He wanted me dead for all the costs. He mentioned something about a witness for me because all this scum, witness, uh, filth, they always had also oh, that other side of the story where they pose next to you as a friend, as your supporters, as your admirers, as somebody who adheres to you. But I'm going to say thank you very much. Right underneath, motherfuckers, I'm going to post you a video about age 50, what it looks like. And I really didn't sign for any benefits, for any job, for anything. I had to go through life, most of my life as unemployed, at minimum wage. At one point in time, I slept right out on the open under the sky without even having any kind of blanket, uh, blanket under me. Like an animal, like a deer you see in the forest, where I had to run from the psychiatric Slovenia. What you Croats used and at large have supported 
also with your psychiatric institutions you have throughout Croatia. Climbing the roofs of houses in Poland without any protection, with the sneakers cleaning roofs from the leaves for one dollar an hour, for one buck an hour, for one dollar an hour, without any kind of insurance, without any kind of protection, a risk in my life to get through with it so that you Croats can pose with the Slovenian side <laughs> with the stuff like this. I hope the world is going to recognize scum for what you are because mine you are not. I would be ashamed, I would be disgraced to see you as a part of myself after everything I have gone through, after everything I, I have endured from you. For everything I have done to you today, you wouldn't even exist, you motherfuckers, across the Kolpa River, if I wasn't another picture. Everybody told you this. I'm from American administration to the European administration, without me on a picture, you would be a fucking Portorosh. You would be a fucking Rieka, maybe. Even that, I doubt it. Shame on you fuckers. Underneath, I'm going to post you a video. I'm not saying that this type of testing for the incumbents, for the, for the new military prospects is the way to be done. Uh, all I really wanted from the Croatian military is to train them in the same way as, as it applies to the U.S. Marines. That's all I wanted. That was the way I wanted the Croatian military. I wanted one to be professional according to the standards, to American standards, at least, at least of the U.S. Marines. At least. That's the way I wanted. I wanted them to be fit. I wanted them to be professional. I wanted them to know what they're doing. And why the fuck this guy went into something he was nowhere near fit? I do not know. I do, however, also remember that this people, this family had some kind of problem with me. This Croatian Nabor, Kukar Sarajan Nabor, um, Novacenje, um, conscription of the new prospect for the Croatian military. Uh, it was just really, really, really a success, I was told. And so that something dirty took place. Uh, it's not a wonder. Uh, the real question here is next to this Croatian attorney, which for whom I have clearly explained what I think about this scumbag, who stated that he, would, he is more than willing to even convert into Serbian. It was a really, really strange, very, very strange, very, very strange, uh, very, very strange attorney, very, very strange individual, and nobody profited from, from within more than those who glorify the name Jurjev Dan. Through the name of the Jurjitsa, because the Georgitsa became like a protective sign, a symbol of resistance against me, a total schizophrenia, which Croats pushed forward against me for the sake of extermination procedure. You know, fuck you, Croats. Uh, but you're not my kind, and I'm not you. I am happy you got your uh, independent Croatian state. Your Lipanasha, but I don't ever want to see you again.